Does exercise really make you smarter? If so, how does it work to do that? How long should you exercise for? And what type of exercises are actually good for your brain? All good questions. Stay tuned until the end to find out. Hey guys, you see Arsalan back here on the Arsalan Inspires channel with another video where we continue the series of health and wellness topics on the ch this channel explores. If you're new to the channel, it means the world to me, literally the world. If you subscribed and join the Aspires family as I try to bring as much quality health information as I can for you guys. Also, if you like the video, please do give it a like at the end as it seriously would make my day. Anyways, let's get this video started. Researchers have found an, an exercise related molecule in the brain that improves cognition. For decades, Decades long, that topic of exercise and brain health has been examined, cross-examined, dissected, and discussed, and what I've condensed from reading a few of the articles is the fact that the molecule that's the most intriguing in question is the irisin molecule. It is produced uh, when an endurance-based exercise takes place. What on earth is irisin? Well, it's thought to be a neuroprotective molecule, and the more levels of irisin present, the more genes responsible for learning and memory become activated. Irisin eventually crosses the BBB, otherwise known as a blood brain barrier which is the border that separates the blood from the brain and when it crosses over it increases what's known as bdnf brain derived neurotropic factor which activates more genes that are involved in cognition and memory so in theory working off those glutes will make you smarter but it doesn't end there Exercise affects the brain in so many ways. It increases your heart rate, which sends more oxygen to the brain. It releases important hormones, which aid in the growth of brain cells, and it promotes brain plasticity by stimulating new connections between cells in many important areas in the brain, more specifically the hippocampus, the part of the brain that is responsible for motivation, emotion, learning, and consolidating short-term memory into long-term memory. So much so that the research from UCLA even showed that exercise increased growth factors in the brain making it easier for the brain to create more neuronal connections so we can infer that exercise greatly activates the hippocampus and allows more neurons to grow there your brain just remembers more when the body's active personally i remember uh, i was able to focus more during second period in high school when pe was my first period Good times. An experiment published in the American College of Sports Medicine had students to memorize a string of letters and were then allowed to run, lift weights, or sit quietly afterwards. The students who ran were quick ran more accurate when they were tested than students who chose lifting weights or sitting quietly. So we get it. Exercise helps protect and sharpen your brain, but how much exercise is necessary. According to the Cleveland Clinic, the activities you do to improve your body also benefit your brain. That entails every step you take, every hike you get yourself to do, every pedal you take on a bike, and every kickflip you land. The Heart Association guidelines say to stick to 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic physical activity a week, so definitely aim for that for brain health as well. That can include walking, jogging, biking, swimming, or doing more kickflips. But keep in mind, any physical activity is still benefiting your brain to keep you more motivated. Schedule some exercises with some friends to keep going and have fun with this. Let me know how exercise has changed your life, if you've seen any brain benefits from exercise or health benefits in general. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on more videos like these. And as always, see you on the next one.